In this workflow video, we're going to take a look at Unreal Engine setup in Pixera over multiple clients. Here you can see me using the AV Manager in order to display the four used clients for this workflow video. I did prepare some remote sessions as you can see and here you can take a look at all the different clients and you can also see that I do have already and display listener as well as the presence open so all preparations for a multi-client setup have been done and here you can by the way see our test setup at what I'm working with here. So let's go ahead and start with the technical setup in Pixera. I'm going to use displays for this setup. As of right now for virtual production setups, please only use displays as well as LED panels. We're still working at the implementation for projection screens. I'm just going to use a generic 40 inch screen and I'm also going to increase the size in order to match the size of the screens in my studio which are roughly 2.4 by 1.3 meters. Of course we want to duplicate them and align them correct in the 3D space so that they match the actual setup which we are using in the real world setup. Once finished with the setup of the screens, we can now go ahead and add outputs to our setup. This is of course being done in the mapping tab. And here in the live systems, you can already see all four clients present. I have already set up the project the IP filter to be specific, specific and added all clients to our system setup. For the output configuration, of course, we are only going to use two of these clients. We're going to use the last two of these with the IP addresses 131.3 as well as 131.4. Good, so let's go ahead and connect our outputs. I will start with this one as this is my left output. And uh, yeah, let's first change to screens and now I can drag and drop it onto my screen. Let's follow up with our second output. So it's my second client right onto the second output and our outputs are connected. Now we can advance to the compositing tab and add an Unreal scene to our project. And this is done via our new button we are here in the resources. And this allows you to add an Unreal scene from your hard drive to Pixera. As you can see, I am adding the scene right here to my project. And in the inspector, we can already see some options and some important uh, stuff, which we're going to set up later. For better 3D engine handling, and this by the way works for Unreal, Unity, as well as Notch, we introduce a new layer called the compositing layer. And as you can see here by right clicking, on our timeline, uh, we now can choose between media, compositing and data layer. And for the compositing layer specific, we can choose between Unreal, Notch and Unity. By the way, if you just simply drag and drop an Unreal scene onto a screen or onto your timeline, Pixera will automatically create the correct compositing layer for you. Now it is really important important to edit the so-called screen presence. The screen presence will manage which screens are assigned to your 3D scene. 
In our case, we do have two screens. So I'm just going to select screen one and two. And now both of them are assigned to our compositing layer and to the Unreal scene. Now, as we have all the necessary setups done in Pixera, we can take a look at end display configuration in Pixera. Once you select the Unreal resource in the resource tab, in the inspector, you will find some end display related information. Pixera is able to create Unreal config files automatically. And this is what we're going to do now. By the way, the preview resolution factor defines preview resolution scaling. So if you experience performance problems, you can turn this down. This factor is in percentage. So turning it to 0.5 would set the resolution to 50%. Now let's start and add a config file. Uh, as you may already know, in order to use NDisplay, you need to load a config file. And this can be done by clicking edit. And as we can see, we do now have both of our clients visible in here. The one client which is missing is the master machine, the machine we are running Pixera on. And the reason for that is Pixera will automatically create two different config files. There is going to be a config file for the preview machine and there is going to be a separate config file for the client. By the way, Pixera will save the config file in the same path on your Windows machine where you have saved your Unreal project. Now we hit OK and um, of course what's missing now is the distribution of data. This is something which Pixera can also handle automized. There is this distribute project clients button and once you press it, Pixera will spread the Unreal project with all related files, with the configs and so on, and put it on the clients. So no need to spread projects, config files, and all these various different files manually. When adding new outputs to your system, all you have to do is click the refresh button and Pixera will automatically refresh the config files on all clients. Now let's start Unreal. It is really important to have the M display listener run on every machine, even on the master. Additionally, I have already started the so-called M display launcher. And in here, it is really important to set up this custom command line argument, which um, tells the Unreal Engine to render off screen. This is really important for the setup in Pixera. In the Applications tab, you want to load in the correct Unreal application. In our case, that's the Unreal Pixera 01 accent. In the config files, you want to add the config files you're using. And as you can see here on top, it's the same directory we do find the Unreal Engine application in. You always have to use at least two config files. One for the actual render nodes for the render setup and one for the preview. Because of performance and synchronization, the preview is always split and a separate Unreal node system. This is not a problem at all, as you can load in as many config files in the end display launcher as needed. So what's left to do now is to select the correct config file. And once you have selected it, you want to hit the run button. Now, as you can see, the end display launcher is sending start commands to the render nodes. Now I'm doing this for both of my config files for my preview, as well as my output systems. As you can see here in Pixera, um, it, the outputs are already running. Now, of course, we want to additionally start the 
rendering on our outputs as well. And the shortcut to open them is F5 on your keyboard. And as you can see, as soon as I start them up, we are now able to see the Unreal setup running on our physical outputs.